Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Adam Steele here from Hot Pole Studios and today we're going to be looking at a slightly different song with a, a very interesting arrangement uh, and that's a song called Watch the World from this um, a little bit, from this album we've been mixing by the band Maysetto. Before we do, everybody welcome, uh, make yourselves settled, grab yourselves a drink. Uh, if you're watching this live, of course, because this is all live streamed every Monday. And hello to some of our uh, mods in chat who are all on our Discord server. If you want to join the Discord, the link will be in the chat. Uh, if you've not seen us before, please do subscribe to the channel. We do this every week. We have a, a big video comes out every Tuesday, podcast on Thursdays, and quite often a mix on Fridays too. So before we do, let's listen to the results of what we had last week. Now I'm just going to change the text at the bottom. Uh, pop punk six this was the song uh watch the world and we're going to be doing the song meant to be this week but let's listen to watch the world i've tweaked a few very subtle things here um that i've been listening to while setting up the stream and just having a reference to mix to so this song's going to fade in from nothing so we don't need to listen right from the very beginning because it's just repetitive <clears throat> But that's an album uh, choice that we decided to record far more for the intro than we needed because the ring out of the final chord of the song before on the album will go on and on and this song will slowly come up as it goes. Hello everybody, I can see you all filing in. So let's have a listen. And this is this is what we got to last week.
Yeah, so that that sounds pretty decent to me. There are probably a couple of tiny little things that I would change, but they would take me a long time, and it's not worth the faffing just because this is never really going to get an official release. This is just me doing this particular album just for the stream, just for the heck of it. Now, let's move on then to this week's song. And let's see... Andre says, no video, no audio, just a YouTube fault announcement. That sounds like a, an Andre problem. Your end. Um, so, uh, let's bring up Spotify and bring up the album. And I'm going to play you. Uh, the song meant to be in its entirety because what we're going to do as well as actually mixing this song is we're going to slightly break down especially the intro of this song and how it's got an interesting sound and it's really nice but it, it it's not radio friendly in that it gets your attention and then doesn't keep it so um let's listen to this song meant to be uh hopefully you can hear this i'll make sure this time that we can hear this I can't hear that, and that'll be because that's coming through a different output to what I've got plugged in. So let's try that. There we go. Right, so this is meant to be.
Wait, why? No. It... Hmm? It went away. Why did... Why is the rum gone? Why did loading a Reaper project stop everything? Uh, ignore all missing files. Probably because it took over the sound card. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Well, I'll just go back to where we were then. Um, try again. Why you keep doing that? Yeah, there's some really good stuff in this song. But again, with years of reflection, oh, it's 88.2, this particular project. Let's uh, let's fix that pretty sharpish. Say a giant nope. Uh, it, it'll probably be in project settings because it keeps uh, forcing this. There we go. Force, yeah. Project sample rate 44. That explains that. 88.2k. What was I thinking? Ugh. Worst sample rate. 44.1 is not incredible, but. Yeah, there we go. So, uh, the problems that I now have with the arrangement of this song are things like. The intro took 54 seconds to go to that snare hit to kick in and nothing happened after the initial five seconds of bringing in that interesting glitchy drums and the distorted vocal. So we need to do something with that because it's a really nice pretty intro but it, it goes on too long but at the same time the, the vocal tells a story and that story kind of needs to be told because of the way the song is. So we need to find things to add to make it more interesting. Also, there was a big breakdown in the middle where it went to this... Uh, uh, mm, that sounds nice. Straight home Built to come alive Don't good night Mmm, sounding good. Ugh, maybe not. But yeah, there's this big dupa 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 where nothing actually happens, and so that's just gotta go. Uh, those are the kind of things that really, um, if I was doing that now, I would sit down with the band and I would say, "Look, you've got thirty seconds here where nothing happens. Either get rid of it or make." something happen because those those really are, are you uh, you're in they're your choices and yeah you can hear all that distortions in there which is rather nice but i'm gonna get rid quickly of all these microphone tracks which are just horrible and quickly just bring the bring everything into line that's that's just uh, pre-production stuff that's why it's clipping because we were we were just throwing ideas in at that point and let's start with the drums because we know oh yeah so 
So what we did for the intro for the drums is it originally had, uh, well, it was Superior Drummer, and it was just the most basic uh, four-to-the-floor drum intro. Although it was still played in, but it was... Then we rendered it down to a new file. One, two, da, da, one, two, three, four, one, two, da bam, psh. And so it's got an EQ on that really uh, radio affects it. And we used a plugin called D Blue Glitch at the time, which was a nightmare because it was kind of pseudo random. So we would program it to be entirely pseudo random and then render out five or six different versions and see what we could use. So this time I'm going to use Stutter Edit 2. And let's see what we get. That's doing nothing. Hello? Yeah, I'm taking it off MIDI play mode. That's quite enough of that. Uh, syncopated rhythms. Let's go with that. Let's drop all these in somewhere. So this is the kind of stuff we were doing is we were just dropping in interesting th interesting things. <laughs> Mecha Cat says he's having the same error. I don't know what to suggest because I can actually see a playback of YouTube working okay and a few other people have said it's working so I, I, I there's nothing I can do from the gesture bank for a minute let's just see if we can uh how about if we go back to midi it actually shows you how to do it in reaper which is really cool Is there just a mix, a master percentage mix somewhere? Because if not, I'll have to use the one from Reaper. Let's 
Scotty Scarlet 1820 working well, hey. Ooh, I like that. Close your blinds, now you're on your road home. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free. Now I'm quickly just going to... I'm going to bring all the guitars in now. So I'm going to go back to Watch the World, which had uh, all the guitars with the uh, Wall of Sound plugin on. There we go. Uh, using the Kraken on Tom's stuff and what was he using on K -K -K Kyle. I was using the Duchess for Kyle. Nice. So I'm just going to copy this entire guitar group including everything over to this particular project and <clears throat> ah we actually added a guitar at 88.2 that's all right because reaper will naturally just redo everything for me it will resample it on the fly with no re-rendering required let's just boop these up and yeah it looks like there's only one actual heavy guitar in this song so that's another thing i was thinking arrangement wise is it's too clean it's too polite i might actually have to grab a guitar and record in some uh power chords underneath oh that's nice nice this but it just it this is where it goes on too long or at least in its current state it does there's a reverse symbol which i eventually had to do so everything's okay but it's not there so we are just quickly going to do things like... Oh, that drums one. That, that's from the original project. That didn't need to be there. So all the drums and actually the bass channel as well. And the effects. Oh, that's the shift key and not the control key, you numpty. Right, so shift up to there. And that, let's copy them out of this particular tab and paste them into this particular tab. So many emails go away, email people. I don't want to know and I don't care. I'm busy. Oh, uh, for everybody who's interested as well. Oh, what's that? Um, that's, for everybody who's interested, this 50,000 subscriber giveaway that we're doing is taking shape. Uh, I've now had quite a few of the sponsors get back to me and confirm that they are able to donate their time and resources and um, actual prizes. So, yeah, prizes. Points make prizes. Move this up to... Be slowly falls apart. We can easily sit and see a hopeless thing. I know exactly the sound of that bass. That sproing is from that number one bass that I have here, usually the uh, Quilted Maple one, uh, when it's really smacked. I do wonder... If... Ooh. 
I was wondering um, when I was listening back to this whether I played the intro, but no, I don't think I did. I think Declan played the intro and bass. Because that's, that's a very Declan bass line. And... is not a criticism but when you hear someone's playing compared with like, your own for a long time you uh, eventually just kind of get to know things like that I guess now um, time to run this through what was the Tech 21 landmark but that's currently at the studio but I do have the very similar uh, Tech 21 YYZ pedal with me today, so that is what I'm gonna use. So I'm gonna hit record on that. But it's gonna be on, I think it's input two, I was wiring it into. And. <clears throat> I've not turned on the amps at the switch. That explains that. So, all being well. So if I send this out five, Now that sounds a little too gritty, but that's my typical kind of Geddy Lee, half deep and clean, half gritty and toppy thing that, that does really work in a mix. Right, so a lot of the top end is, uh, it sits underneath the crashing guitars when they come in. It sits under the crashing drums. So let's just record this in. Hear that nicely chirping stutter edit now. Might just change the frequency points of this EQ a little bit. did stop recording the bass there because I'm an idiot so I'll carry that on in a second uh, but that did remind me to have the kind of the chirpy track here it's got break uh, stutter edit on so that needs to be uh, volume automated using the V key to stop just stop There we go, and let's carry on with the recording. We 
when you press the right button. Something weird in there, then. I'll have to listen back again in a minute. at the wrong place but that's something I can fix now ding and it all sounds good but Sounds good, but it's not perfect, especially not yet. Uh, so, bass sounds decent, so that can generally be left alone, I think. Apart from when we come back to the arrangement stuff, which we will. I'm going to put the effects at the end where they should be. Uh, I've got some old renders, which I can just get rid of there. Uh, top back channel, which I definitely don't need, an effects group, which only had a plate reverb in, so that's gone. An old ADT track, which was a very badly made one, which actually, if you're interested, use the copy of Redelay with 10 milliseconds of delay on it. Uh, just, just 10 milliseconds of delay, but completely wet, and then flipped the phase on one side, so it made everything sound like it had a slight delay on, but it doesn't actually sound that nice. It's too clean, it's too perfect. Yeah, so that, that, that scrape was a thing. I mean, the other thing is that the guitars on reflection are too clean. So, actually, let's just use a copy of Soothe here and just see if it picks up on anything.
Yeah. It's picking up on the same thing. section sounds nice that section doesn't need anything else but there's an extra guitar here does actually add some nice counterpoint parts in uh, that's going to need reamping and I think I'm going to use uh, the Marshall which I was playing with last night and added in the uh, Lynch mod so I'm going to turn that on get that warming up and that came with Right, so let's have this extra guitar, which did have a copy of Le Pou's Hybrid on it originally. Why has this got an automation lane on it if it's not actually got any volume automation? And so I don't care that that was done in 88.2 originally. I do not care. Uh, let's go with a new track. And that's going to be coming in from whatever channel. Let's bring up the audio fuse panel. I think it's five that the, uh, oh, when I put the power back into the, uh, into the torpedo. There we go. That was number three, because I, I was having a play around last night with different tones. So let's see how this sounds. Probably f far too much gain, I would have thought. Yeah, I can already hear it. That's too much. But I can turn the gain down from here. too easily going into self-oscillation with that because I'm trying to push too much out of it. So I'm going to switch to the Road King. The Road King I think will have the right sound anyway. That sounds like as the valves warm up.
Yeah, that needs the tube screamer thrown in, and thankfully, I uh, got a battery in the tube screamer earlier because my power supply still is cheap. Yeah. I've ordered a second power supply from Toman, but that could be God only knows how long. Cheap screamer is on, let's hear that. That's better, much clearer. how that's what uh, Mesa call vintage mode. <laughs> anyway. Right, let's record that in. just realized that the bass is also coming out of the same channel which is why it sounds disgusting let's do that again what a wally forgot to turn off the bass di the bass di has no business being turned on now That's, that's right now. Let's 
skip ahead a bit. If you are interested in really getting to the nuts and bolts of what I'm doing here, the Pro Mix Academy has their Summer Insanity Sale going on right now, uh, in which you can have the Ultimate Reaper Guide, the Audio Essentials course that I made, where it really goes into depth of understanding different compressors, what different EQs do, different brands of EQs do, uh, what different reverbs actually mean. Yeah, it sounds good. Uh, I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. So yeah, mute the original so it doesn't bleed onto anything. Blah! Now, the original... Uh, so I've got Kyle Lead head. Ah, so that, that's not been playing. So, let's stop. Oh, is that just to tidy up? There must have been a reverb on here at some point. Okay, so the lead head, what's on here? Everything go bye-bye. Uh, that can go straight out of Compton. And that. Yeah, Kyle, and, uh, so I've got clean. And I've got a lead guitar. Why am I not hearing this? Uh, alt click would help to send that out of the master. I am going to take the save. There we go. But I'm going to take the distance back quite a way and add quite a bit of the room reverb on here. Right, so that's now buried quite happily under there. Uh, I am going to use uh j37 on this tape on this guitar just because i'm going to use i know it's a waves plugin i don't usually use waves plugins but if i do this as a send and return and put the time delay to practically zero i can unlink them and have one come out slightly later And it just kind of takes that out of the, the middle of the uh, stereo image. And I'm just going to, while I'm at it now on this particular guitar, it's got loads of low end because it's a Mesa and they do that. Because the other one's got low end. Oh no, it doesn't.
sounding pretty good. Um, so I've got quite a lot of guitars going on for this particular track. For this band, anyway, this is unlike them. So I'll, I'll reorder them so it's clean. Then the rest of the song. Because that makes more sense structurally. And this extra guitar is going to go down to the shadow realm at the bottom, never to be seen again. Uh, the gang group's all there. The original vocal group folder thing can go. Because that's awful and just no. <laughs> and vocals can all... Uh, I'm just alt-clicking to get rid of all the effects on all of that stuff making it go bye bye that's clearing everything up there's a channel for sub drops because there are supposed to be some in this song but they're not in there right now uh, but we'll come back to that too save yes this is where i'm thinking of getting a little uh, experimental and playing a bit of guitar myself uh because again this is something that production wise uh, would have got the band to do on the day <clears throat> but uh, let's just put two tracks in of uh, extra beef and this is pretty much just for the choruses so beef left beef supreme it's coming in I think it was channel 5 that would no it's channel 3 there we go so um, I'm taking the uh, Cheap screamer. I'm taking a cable. I'm taking a guitar. Oh, and this is. This is the same guitar. Ooh. Picking up all the electromagnetic crap in the room. This is the same guitar that we would have used on the day. I know, I'll put a gate on there. What gate will I use? I will use the cock blocker from Spectre Sound Studios. I'll just have to cut it really uh, closely. We'll be fine. Okay, so... Yeah, time for the flumes pickups. That's all the extra noise in the room from all the extra electronics that, funnily enough, doesn't seem to get affected when I do... Uh, anything else. That's the note I'm looking for. This is going to be a super tight tuning on the strings, but we'll see. I always thought these guys did drop C sharp, but I guess this is in D. Yeah, it's drop D. How about that? Time to destroy a set of strings. Ooh. Alright, let's put this 
back on Oh yeah, the letter A on the Marshall's missing because I just didn't find any glue. So I, st I still have it, it's safe. But the letter A on the Marshall is missing because I just need glue. Right, so that's what I want, is I want a sound that's uh, just lots and lots and lots of top end and low end and gain and anger. I might even overdo, yeah. I'm gonna overdo the bass and the treble a little bit, which makes no sense on its own, but this is a blended tone. This is supposed to sit underneath the rest of the band. So let's get these recorded in. I just saw that in chat just as I was starting to play then. So yeah, I think there were a couple of slightly rough notes there, but I've been, honestly, I've been listening to this, uh, this particular song for years now. So yeah, it, the fact that I can do it in almost one take and close enough to prove the point with the production that we're doing here um, is just because I know the song really well. Yeah, you just caught me, Warren, right in the middle of uh, playing extra guitars on this track with the new Fishman Fluence pickups. There. And it's got hideously too much gain on this, but it's to go under a, a tone that on reflection was just too polite. So here we go. One, two, three.
So that's not the entire song, uh, but let's just put the amp on standby for a minute and uh, A, B this with and without. And just make sure it's doing what we want of just, just like it's called, extra beef. <laughs> Without the, yeah, just slightly too clean guitars. And with extra beef. Yeah, with a bit of automation to dip that out when it's not wanted. And just, you know, play around with it. I think that is going to fix a lot of our problems. Right, so I, th I think we've got the right thing going here. And again, this is the kind of thing where if I'd done this at the time, I would definitely have got the band uh, to get just a really kind of metally gain tone to sit underneath the polite tone. Uh, not not to define anything and not to be the sound, but to just... Because, you know, a nice mid guitar sound, let's just solo this for a minute. <laughs> Seeing as our Warren's here, it's one of the mods, want to throw the Pro Mix Academy summer sale in the chat because we keep mentioning it, but it's uh, it's here, it's now, it's on sale, and it's got me in it, and it's good. And it's got Warren in it too. But yeah, like I was saying, this guitar tone has a lot of mids in it. This is really in the mids. <laughs> It's got an almost kind of 70s-ish feel to it, whereas this new guitar that I've got has no definition, not much mids, it's all But the whole point of it is that we have the definition and clarity and what we want is just some weight. So th those four together now. There we go. It's all just about blending, it's just sonic chemistry. So that's where we're going to go from. Thank you very much. Uh, right, so uh, we'll go from... Uh, oh, we've got to do number two of these. Chorus number two. Unsolo this. Make sure we're still in tune. Oh. Okay, here we go. Oh. Didn't get up to the fifteenth fret. That's it. Stretch those fingers. the side just me going crazy.
There we go. Let's just make sure it's properly trimmed. Because that's the kind of stuff where it goes duh afterwards. And if you listen closely, you can hear horrible hissing. So we're going to come in after this. Because that's going to be super loud. And we come in on the... from there. Good question. When playing these kind of chords, is it useful to take the strings you don't use? Depends on the part, depends on the guitarist, depends on a lot of things, but no, not necessarily. Um, that That is something you can do. Uh, it's something I don't do if I'm just using the bottom three strings because I'm quite used to. I kind of lean my fingers so that they kind of... Deadened and deaden and pad the bottom the strings anyway. So I haven't even tuned the uh, top two strings. So it goes. Yeesh. Nice. Up at the top, but yeah, that's because I know I'm just not using them. Now let's get this finished and move on. And Just listen back to that. No, not you, you. Oh, nope, didn't stick that one, did. Not quite. There we go. 
it's a new plugin called Electrum that is oh and I did all of that perfectly with the volume down because I'm a complete idiot um polyphonic guitar tuner so like a TC polytune yeah I've already got one of those <laughs> Problem is, I, I find it unreliable to do polyphonic tuning when I know that if I try and rely on that, the uh, it doesn't know what tuning I'm in usually, and if it does, um, everything changes and kind of, yeah. Do that again. Alright, I think that got it, because I actually could see it on the channel that time. Oh, complete idiot. Ah, it's been done before, it'll be done again. It's, it's uh, not so bad when it's me on my own time doing that, but yeah. Someone else's. Okay, LA Winter Music. You wouldn't happen to be the person who makes that plugin, would you? Because <laughs> that's what people tend to do when they come out of the blue and they're like, hey, there's this great new plugin. <laughs> but I did have to ask. It's like, you're not a cop, are you? Of the time it sounds to me like this particular track uh the guitar was slightly out and what i'm gonna have a look at is seeing if i can use melodyne uh to catch all these weirdnesses uh because this is all single note guitar on this particular thing i know melodyne can do polyphonic if you get the expensive version but i always find that to be difficult and cpu intensive and just <laughs> That's more like it. Oh. Yeah, that is three people who've said something about an issue. But yeah, it's, I, there, there is nothing I I can do. It's, it's, 
let YouTube know, I guess? Maybe one of their live server relays isn't working around the world or something. Yeah, it'll be one of those things where it just, yeah, I mean, the view account's really quite down today, so I imagine that's a, a, an ongoing issue. Yeah. I'm going to switch this cab out on their lead for something with a bit more mid poke. I'm going to turn off the online tick so I've only got 200 cabs to go at, which is crazy. But let's go with the Fender, um, one that I did in Alnico Gold in it. That seems to be cutting through, and then that can be EQ'd. That's, that's nice, but let, let's find this extra Tom guitar and the Kyle one and just split them out a bit. Someone on Discord said it's not working on their MacBook. Hmm. Bizarre. Yeah, I've, I've changed nothing this week. Everything's... Uh, the same for me as it was last week. The issue at the start of the stream with people not being able to hear us was just OBS being weird, but... Yes. Uh, I'm going to add some space on top of this lead guitar with an old trick um, that's been used since at least 1972. Uh, there we go. I mean, it's a 1080 live stream. I just, I don't know. But yeah, anyway, as I was saying, this um, this trick to make things sound huge is that you have uh, a slap back delay on one side um, or even just kind of a short reverb on one side. Uh, in this case, I'll use the J37 as a slap. So let's just look at the lead guitar. <laughs> Sounding good through the J37, but what I want to do is have the times of this slapback be quite different. I'm going to have it on send and return mode. And if I uh, unsync these, I can have the left side be just at one milliseconds or practically no delay at all. And the other one be quite long. And listen to this difference. <laughs> And now an extra thing I can do is I'm going to saturate that this to death. And then here's the real trick uh, that I can do in Reaper is I can Dis just disconnect the left side so that right side's really saturated now but the left side is completely the original let's hear that in the mix
pushing that a little bit. The originals had timing issues, I now remember. Okay, so I'm, it looks like it doesn't work for this bit where it's... That's okay because again automation to the rescue uh, we can go to our automation lanes on where are we on that track yes automation and there's a wall of automation of all the particular things we can do but I'm looking all the way to the end to J37 and bypass <clears throat> so I can just Shift click a couple of points at the start and end of this section and just bypass that plugin. There we go. And I think I might even just cut that there because th I'm guessing. Yeah. That's good. Why did I, I didn't even cut those out? I mean, this is 10 years ago, me, and I'm looking at it going, dude. That's weird. Sounds slightly drunk in the middle there. that were never properly cleaned. Definitely out there. if 
putting it on there. Cool. That's a bit that I was going to talk about in terms of arrangement anyway. So that's fine actually, because that's going to go. That's the bit that I want. And That can go, that can go, that can go. Uh, that can hit. So let's just zoom out, hit the snap, and just get all the way to da ba ba da 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 da. Where are you? Because everything just isn't needed there. snap back off so I can blend some of these in. Give them a split second. Now what's rushing the most on that? Because that's... Uh, it's going bigger, 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 bigger. First half of the bass is spot on, second half is pushed. That's now perfectly on. Let's add these. They rush like anything. They're still rushing. Next. That's better. So that's one big part. Now, uh, let's go back to Watch the World for our vocal group and just copy the whole vocal group across because it's a bit of a cheat, but you can do it. It takes a few seconds, but it takes a few seconds and not lots of seconds. Well, yeah, it sound, sounds to me like uh, YouTube are beginning to crack down on ad blockers then. Never been a fan of ad blockers myself. I mean, you do you, but... Yeah, ads actually help the people that you're watching. They support us. They literally pay our wages. So by having ad blockers on, you are literally, you know, not you personally, but when it's multiplied by thousands, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, literally taking money away from us, which is, uh, you know, makes life difficult. And I don't have ads because I have YouTube Premium. So there's, there's no real kind of 
oh, but what if, what if I didn't need ads? It's like, yeah, there's an answer for that. Right. Why are you being obtuse? Why will you not move is the question. And there was no good answer. Okay. Right. That stuttering a little, probably just because it's uh, sticking everything into Melodyne. So there is nothing on top. There's no second channel there. So they can go. Now, uh, let's see what we get with just a little bit of plate reverb. A little bit of that big plate. And nothing on Melodyne. So we've got Melodyne on these tracks, but we've not turned them on yet. We've not done anything to do with correcting pitch. can come down in the intro because that's how it always was. I've not even got my master bus processing on yet. Shame. Ding. Shame. Ding. So let's uh, let's get them in there. Turn off the true peak. Okay, so the fact that those guitars are making that compressor on the bus go crazy is telling me that I'm, uh, I've got too much volume coming out of the guitars going into the, uh, the everything. So let's just get these, these two. I mean, that just doesn't need, uh, an automation line looking at it, at least not yet. Um, I don't know why these are all in read mode instead of trim mode. I think I was using some sort of uh, control surface at the time, and this is the kind of hell that control surfaces unleash upon you.
Okay. So those those vocals need crushing. Well, yeah, I didn't so much get Twitch working again as I, I gave up on broadcasting in 1440p because YouTube was fine with it and Twitch twitched. We know that we're the ones who take our pride in what we do and everything just seems to be a mess. The irony is so uplifted. Now you're gone, I know just what to do. Hello everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome. Ah, that's a culprit that's swallowing EQ. I heard things about good uh, good things about Kush worth trying out. I mean, try anything out if you can find a trial. There we go. That frequency range has been dominated, dominated by that guitar. Scooping out some of these frequencies on our guitars should help to really kind of clear the mix up and make life easier for us. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the thick, warm blanket that's going underneath that angry, snarly guitar. It's still got that spanking that I don't like. There we go, we're starting to get there. Mm. 
Nope, you get muted, pal, because we've now got five other tracks that do the same thing much tighter. Let's try this from the top now. The vocals, like I said, the vocals have not been tuned because the original version of Melodyne that didn't use IRA, all the files have magically disappeared. Hear the guitars and the bass together, I mean, why not? Sure. So that's the bass, it sounds too bright, but... Without the bass. that took to go from the, the vocals being missing in the mix to being overbearing in the mix is this little bit of drive and one and a bit decibel boost at that 1.6k region. <clears throat> Let's turn that off again. This is without. And here's with. So what I think I'm going to do is add even more kind of grit at this point. I think I'm going to use the New York from Slate and just saturate it on the vocal bus, but also turn the output down probably by a dB or so, because I just want it to be thicker in the mid slightly, not any more compressed and not just driven to death, but this should give us more, uh, more of a glue in the mid range. are still a little bit all over the place because we're still kind of establishing a balance right now but now i want to focus on the start because it's a lovely start but it's 50 something seconds of intro and yeah 51 seconds before we hit that first snare hit so i mean My attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended. Close your blinds now, you're on your own. 
your excuses of losing interest. Oh, no. That's how vocal takes look, by the way, when, you've, when you're trying to nail a perfect take. That's 11 takes there, 13 at the start, 6, 6, and... Yeah, that's trying to make sure that the main vocal's absolutely right, but you can see which ones we decided on because it's always the lightest take is the one that was selected. But yeah. Any tips on where to start? Um, I mean, you could start by watching the tutorials that I've done on YouTube about the basics. Then you could look at the ultimate reaper guide where i literally walk you through recording a band and electronic stuff and setting up physically setting up everything start to finish and that's all available on pro mix academy right now in their summary sanity sale taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended close your blinds now you're on your road your excuses of losing interest Remember when we used to feel so free Following our dreams Friends of friends ignited too So true We'll wait, waiting for our time But everything that's meant to be Won't be It's just so sad to see that's better. Um, this particular lead vocal is quite kind of bright. I think the original mic, which wasn't the Slate ML1, uh, was really quite peaky. So you can see now I've got just a flat EQ and it, um, I had to use this button on the distressor uh, because that button means that anything that's peaky and bright makes the, the compression in the distressor come in quicker and kind of keep that brightness under control. Taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended Close your blinds, now you're on your road home Your excuses of losing interest Remember when we used to feel so free Following our dreams Friends and friends ignited too So true Time, but everything that's meant to be won't be. It's just so sad to see. Yes, yeah, so let's tame the top end down a bit. So, yeah, it's a nice story. Uh, so, I can't just chop half of it. Uh, what can we do? We can start adding things. Taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended Close your blinds, now you're on your road home Your excuses of losing interest Remember when we used to feel so free Following our So we're going to start adding strings at this point then Because I think Just a little bit of some nice slow I'm like, hmm, 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 hmm. Let's go with the modern ensemble from Session Strings, the contact library, and just see. So the main should be. Uh, what am I thinking? Uh, slow crescendo. Not quite what I had in mind. Start the vocal and guitar at the same time? No. Because then you've got nothing to start to open with. Then it's just blunt force trauma. And then you've you've only lost then um, five seconds for the sake of blunt force trauma. That's not a good solution in this case, I don't think. Um, is that... I mean, if you were making a TV edit, they'd probably cut that off. If you were on radio, that's the bit that I think you want that they can cut on the radio. For the sake of five seconds? No, but for the sake of... Because, I mean, what I would do if it wasn't such a nice kind of story and a, 
uh, a setup and a key change and everything is I would just take half of that intro and just get rid somewhere which would take it from 56 seconds to 20 something seconds which then brings us into um, a playlist radio territory because then you're at boom you're at the thing within 30 seconds uh, but as it is this is never going to be uh, classic Radio 1 material unless I had to sit down with the singer and we changed it all Remember when we used to feel so free Sad to see Waiting for our time So, as I was saying, rather than doing that, we'll build it up Start adding ear candy, make, make you not bored make make you just latch on to things latch on to things and then um just as just as it's getting to the point where you can't really add any more without going overboard we get pow Dipsh, chorus so that's the plan so as i was saying uh strings uh Come on, brain. I want a kind of a, a swell in. Not a portamento, because that's just like... Radio DJs like to blabber over the intro. Will you say that? But... Yeah, which is true. Yeah, for the five seconds that you give them to talk over it, you do want that. There are certain songs on the radio that start with a pow, like uh, The One and Only by Chesney Hawks. So that has that. But even that doesn't. That goes... And has two seconds of a wind-up. Um, it's quite rare, actually, for a song to just pow and just go. You generally want a little bit of something. Uh, the session strings might not be the one. Emotive strings. Let's have a look in emotive strings and see what you do. Basic rhythms slurred. Let's see what... Can we actually... Right, uh, we'll get to the point now where I'll actually put my hands on some keys. I can see that. Is that not coming in the right MIDI channel? I can see it. Um, maybe, maybe channel one, enter. Ah, midi zones were, uh, yeah, so this is probably the kind of thing that I've roughly had in mind. That's interesting. No, but that's interesting. Let's see what else you can emote. Expression. kind of a ribbon on the on the keyboard controller over there and so where's where's midi panic come on midi panic yeah somewhere i know there's a midi panic button in here because i've used it enough times but i can't for the life of me remember where the midi panic is because the uh that volume's now been affected 
Anyway, um... Because that's, yeah, it set the MIDI velocity at the bottom. And... See what we get. Taking my attention with your hopes about. and dreams that were intended. Close your blinds now, you're on your road home. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free? Following our dreams, friends and friends ignited to. That kind of thing could work quietly in there and then just add another layer and add another layer over the next couple of lines and couple of lines. So. Taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended. Close your blinds now, you're on your road home. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free. Following our dreams, friends and friends ignited to so true. We'll wait, waiting for our time, but everything that's meant to be won't be. It's just so sad to see. Yeah, so I'm probably going to fade it. Find that awful note, because that was just a howler. Interest, remember when we used to feel so free. Following our dreams. Let's just uh, split this note at that point. Wait, waiting for a sign. And Keith Kwan's eyes, yes please, straight to eight. I ain't messing around this time. <sighs> Manual notes, position, why are you not moving? Oh, so I need them to be on quarter notes. I was really that far out. Okay, fine. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free. Following our dreams. Right, so that's way too loud, but that's fine. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free. Following feel so free. If I want that getting oh these all doubled as well is that ah that explains a lot I think everything's coming in as a double from my uh, MIDI output for some reason that's weird but I have to find out why that is oh right okay it's coming in on two MIDI zones on two different channels ugh uh right channel two bye bye 
channel two. There's nothing left on channel two. Right, good. That'll do. They're not meant to be a star player. So free, following our dreams. Friends of friends ignited to so true. Now, uh, big strings. So, input MIDI port one, channel one only. Ugh. Get another copy of contact going. People always say to me, oh, why don't you have one copy of contacts and just have all your different, uh, all, all your different stuff uh, just rooted out? And it's, it's a massive pain to do that. For some reason, I'm just kind of going... Completely inappropriate for the song, but, but my brain's saying, yeah, do that. Do that. Like, no. Let's have a look at Arcus and just see if this has got some of the kind of the big sounds I was after. That's nice. Drops of melancholy. Let's just make sure after touch is off. So I just turned off after touch. first preset and drops melancholy yet so let's see what else there is Ooh. a long burdensome part Go back to that first one. Oh, don't tell me it's disappeared. What's it called? Disturbed voices. I'm gonna add that in over the top of the uh, the 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 bass line because I like that. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free, following our dreams. Friends, and friends ignited to so true. Time, but every 
everything that's meant to be won't be. It's just so sad to say. That's going to need turning up a little bit, I think. Uh, I've never trusted the volume in contact. It just doesn't work right for some reason. Well, let's just have a listen to that. Remember when we starting to build a texture next um, so probably one or two more instruments and that should be as much as I'm going to go into tonight uh, but that's the kind of thing I'm going to have another copy of Arcus you know like Arcus uh, same again where it's uh, I don't even know what to call this yet. Uh, MIDI micro light channel one. Who's in interest? Remember when we used to feel so free? Following our dreams. Friends and friends ignited to so true. I have to be careful because that sounds almost copyrighted. Yeah, that's from Interstellar. <laughs> Let's not. Was in interest. Remember when we used to feel so free? Following our dreams. Friends and friends ignited to so true we'll wait waiting for our time but everything that's meant to be won't be it's just so sad to say everything yeah i'll have to fade everything out at appropriate points and there were a couple of notes in there that were a little kludgy. So let's just... Uh... Let's call that... <sighs> Drops. Yeah, I just went with a, a rest. Ba -da -ba -ba. Just to, to descend. Yeah, Friends and friends ignited to so true. We'll wait, waiting for our time. But everything that's meant to be won't be. It's just so sad to say. Yeah, that whole group is just going to have to be automated to just go one, two, three, four, mute. So it just goes stuk, kapow. And yeah, let's do one more for good measure. And let's call this one kapow. For no good reason other than, sounds like a good name. Anyone else see Mark Rabier's uh, German supermarket advert where he's like, I need some schmunt. I totally forgot the schmunt. Because that is f so good. He's just silly and stupid, and I think it's brilliant. Hybrid keys 2.0. Let's load in that. <laughs> Some of the sounds out of this are great. Uh, 
organs. Yeah, not quite what I'm after, but. Yeah, even slower attack. Yeah, let's just see. Um uh, turn the cutoff down. That sounds weird enough that it might just work. Your excuses of losing interest. Remember when we used to feel so free. Following our dreams. Friends and friends ignited to so true. So that was too loud by a long shot, but that's fine because that's just supposed to be a little supporting instrument, I think, down low. It's a bit weird. Might need a bit of EQ to just take out some of that oddness. There we go. More of that sign, less of the organ. So I need that point to be right on that snare hit, and then wha-bam. So uh, right. And also, so we've let it see. build up in the low mids, so... is now a bit weird but it's uh it's got more stuff at the start that really catches your ear I'm gonna turn this up taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that I think since all my head is now killing me it's now half 10 at night uh that is about as far as I'm gonna go because all that's really left unless there's any major snafus on this song is to check a couple of timings melody in the vocals and then move on so yeah let's just have a listen through that I know it doesn't quite work with the rest of the song but because of the rest of the song uh comes in bigger louder bah, and like a typical rock band it's um it should be like a kind of, yeah, an intro section and then go. Oh, and we need to put some sub drops in and really bring out the go on the gang vocals, which we have yonder. Go! Which sounds pretty big as is, but. Go! Go! That's just a big plate reverb on four channels of the lads all in our live room. Uh, with just a single 
uh, U87 at the back, just multiple, 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 multiple. Just... So yeah, let's listen through what we have. And then, yeah, next week we'll tidy this up, finish it off, and then move on to one of the more radio single friendly ones where it's got like a 20 second intro and then goes right into the big big stuff taking my attention with your hopes and dreams that were intended close your blinds now you're on your road home your excuses of losing interest remember when we used to feel so free following our dreams friends and friends ignited too so true we'll wait waiting for our time but everything that's meant to be won't be it's just so sad to see we're getting there with this song there is still more to do uh but as far as you know i think we're about 70 percent of the way there if not more the the intro might still need a little something something but it feels nicer now it grows it, it doesn't just sit on a level for 55 seconds uh there are interesting bits we need nice big sub drops uh there were a couple of little bits that need editing that i heard in there but nothing huge. 
So yeah, the, the bass needed more low end when the, the kick came in. I think that's because I was using the Tech 21 YYZ pedal today instead of the Landmark 300, which seems to just have limitless sub, which is great, but I need to get that back from the studio from another project we are working on. So for now, that is the end of the stream and the camera is wonky because I've been moving it around everywhere, but that's fine. Thank you everybody for watching it. If you've not already hit the like button, please do so. Uh, check out the Promix Academy Summer Insanity Sale. Uh, the links are in the description and in the um, text and all that good stuff. And subscribe if you haven't and we'll see you here next week. Big video coming out tomorrow, podcast Thursday, hopefully another stream Friday. Yeah, lots going on. So we'll see you very soon. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Hey everyone, that might be the end of the video, but if you fancy carrying on this conversation, we have a Discord server. Link is in the description. We're also on Patreon, which is something you can really help us with. We also are on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hot Pole Studios. See you there.